So I have finally finished shimming up everything. All eight triangles are ready to go. All that's left to do now as far as fitting everything is do a big final sand down of the entire ball just to get rid of some of the ridges. Hey everyone, so we're back inside after the sanding which you just saw, so it went really well. I got a lot of the high spots down. As you can see, the transitions now between the panels and the triangles are pretty good. They're smooth for the most part. I have a couple that I left, I left a little high since I was still gonna be doing some work in here. My next step now is to do the top four panels again first and then down to the bottom four panels. And what I'll be doing is just adding in some shims and some sanding parts that I missed. So for example, like right here, you can see how those two triangles don't perfectly hit that corner together, so I'm just going to add a little shim there. Um, coming around here, there's a little weird hump here that I'm just going to sand off. Maybe shim that whole thing as I see it on camera. It looks a little bit big. Uh, right here, these corners aren't matching up super well, so I'm just going to shim that. But for the most part, there's only like three or four bad spots, so that's really good. Then after I fill up those bad spots, I'm going to hit all four panels with a layer of ABS slurry just to kind of fill in some of the print lines. Okay, so that's done. I got um, all those extra little shims added on and I also covered all of the pan uh, triangles with a layer of slurry to hopefully fill up some of the print lines, fill in some of the gaps in between the panels, like I said. and. That went pretty smoothly for the most part. There was one casualty, which is down here. Um, for the first time, I lost one of my threaded inserts. It popped out of place, and now I tried gluing it once, and I tried slurrying it once, and that didn't work. So I can think I can work around it for while I'm doing this last bit of sanding. This area is actually pretty good once it's all pressed down. So that area doesn't need too much attention. So I'll sand it one more time getting all the little trouble areas and then when I take everything off to do the print or the paint prepping I will also take apart the frame and print out a new part of the frame what basically happened was the threaded insert pulled out and now the hole is too big for it so I'm gonna need to reprint a smaller hole and then re-drill kinda just start from scratch on one of the little ribs of the external frame it's a pain in the ass because I was kinda of getting excited about being done with all of that but I have plenty of time to do it while the paint is drying on the triangles. So next up I will sand the outside again and then we can, that'll probably be it for this video and then I'll start painting. Yay! Okay, sanding went really well, um, no problems to speak of. The ball is pretty smooth now. I'm going to start taking all the panels off and individually going through each one, getting it ready for paint. I think I might do a layer of primer first just to see where the really bad spots are and start building it up from there. Once I have this all as one solid color, which at first is going to be gray, I should start to see more and more where the high spots are and where the low spots are. Right now it's a little too busy to spot anything good. I mean, it's not going to be hard to spot stuff. I mean, look at this. But yeah, after I do a little, little pre-sanding and then the first layer of primer, then I'll be able to really dive in and get this thing really, really, really smooth and ready for rolling around. All right, I think that's going to be it for this video. This was my first multi-part video. I think it went well. Um, this will probably be the format from now on. Maybe some more picture updates, but mostly the videos. I kind of like these a lot better. All right, until next time.